Hi, I'm Ian. And I'm Wesley. And today we're going to talk to you about our project for classifying beer styles using an interpretable NLP model. So to give you an overview of our project, our goal was to take a review, such as the one provided there, utilize trained word to vec embeddings of the words in this review to feed them into a bidirectional LSTM classifier model, and then predict the type of beer that this review was pertaining to. We then intended to use first derivative saliency to determine which specific words in this review were weighted most heavily when the classifier made its prediction. So to give you a bit of an overview of our data set, it came from ratebeer.com and contained around 3 million different reviews for different beers. Within these reviews were 89 different styles of beer for such beers as fruit beers, IPAs, English pale ales, etc. On the right hand side, you can see an example of a single review. Of these fields, only two were utilized by us, the beer style and the text of the review, although other fields were available, such as a variety of different reviews and the specific beer name and alcohol concentration, etc. When splitting this data set into train, dev, and test, we used a 95-5 split. So to see the viability of our project as well as the predictive power of the words in these reviews, we performed a k-means clustering algorithm. First, um, taking the average of the word embeddings in each review and then clustering the styles of said beers. So we can see that this worked pretty well. As you can see, the pale lager and the premium lager are grouped together as well as most of the sakis. To give a bit of overview on the bidirectional LSTM model we used, we limited the input for the reviews to 400 words after determining that this would take into account the entirety of almost all the reviews while not taking too long to train. We then used our pre-trained word to vec vectors to take embeddings of each of these words, which we fed into our bidirectional LSTM layer. The output of this was then fed into a fully connected layer, which then went through a softmax function and delivered our prediction. Here you can see some of the results we got for this model and then also the baselines we used. So because there are 89 different categories, random guessing would get you around a 1% accuracy. We also chose 33 anonymous random examples to try to classify ourselves, and as you can see we got around a 9% accuracy. We also used a logistic regression baseline which did slightly worse than the human performance and got only around a 6% accuracy. Our bidirectional LSTM model, however, did quite well and got around a 44% accuracy. In the future, we plan to also train a standard LSTM model just as a comparison. So in, to interpret our results, we used first derivative saliency. What we did is we took the score function, which is used to predict the actual beer style, and then we took the gradient of that function with respect to E with our ER embeddings, and then we took the magnitude of that and got our saliency score. So we can see the scores of each of the words based on our prediction. So we can see that for like a fruit beer, the words amber, lemon heads, and lemons were heavily weighted in that prediction. For an imperial stout uh, review, we can see that the words piney, dark fruits, and dark chocolate were words that were heavily weighted. So in conclusion, we see that our model got high classification accuracy and that it did appear to learn real word associations while doing classification. Some other applications for this model for future work could potentially be restaurant reviews perhaps to determine the defining attributes of the restaurant as, as determined by users. Thank right. you. Thank you.